channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video, I'm going to try something that I've never done before and that's make California rolls. And if you want to stick around and see how they turn out, then keep watching. But before we get started, please don't forget to like these videos, you guys, so we can get noticed here on YouTube, share these videos with everybody you know, and please don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. So enough talking, let's go ahead and get cooking. So like I said in the beginning, this is my first time making sushi or California rolls and I've done my research and I'm going to get started with the rice. So I found this sushi rice or sticky rice at the grocery store. You can find it in most rice sections or Asian sections of the grocery store. And now I'm going to measure out two cups of rice. I'm going to put it in a bowl and I'm going to cover it with water. Now this part is really important. It's important to rinse this rice because it's full of starch and you need to rinse it between 10 and 15 times or at least until the water runs clear. Now at the very end, I'm just going to fill the bowl up with some water and just allow the rice to sit for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, you're gonna rinse it and you'll be ready to go. So in the meantime, let me show you my sushi making kit that I got from Amazon and it was only seven or eight dollars. And it comes complete with five sets of chopsticks, two wooden spoons, and two sushi bamboo rolling mats. Now, of course, to make your California rolls, you're going to need your seaweed or sushi nori sheets. And this is what they look like. They come full sheets, but when you're going to see later, I'm going to cut mine in half. There are so many variations of sushi or California rolls as far as what to put in them, but I'm going to keep mine really simple. So first, I'm going to add some imitation crab. I'm also going to use an English cucumber. I love these cucumbers. I think they taste a little better than the regular ones, but the skin is so thin, you don't even have to peel it. And I'm also going to use a couple of avocados, which is typically found in most California rolls. Another one of my favorites. And I'm also going to use some sesame seeds. You can also use the black ones, but I'm going to go ahead and toast these and sprinkle these on the outside of the California rolls later. So right now I'm just going to prep everything. So I'm just going to take a knife and just take each imitation crab and just slice it in half. It was just a little bit too big for me. So now I'm ready to cut into the English cucumber. And what I wanted to do or what I tried to do was just try to keep the cucumbers and the imitation crab around the same size. So as you can see, I just sliced it in half and I took the knife and I sliced the other half in half. And, you know, just, you know, again, just trying to make sure that both the cucumbers and the imitation crab is the same size. So that is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. So I'm just going to sit this to the side and I'm going to get back to cooking my rice. So after soaking for 30 minutes, I've already rinsed the rice and now I'm going to add it to a medium sized pot. So now I'm going to pour in a cup and a half of cold water and then I'm going to bring it up to a boil. And once it's boiling, I'm just going to cover it up with the lid and the rice is going to cook for 20 minutes. Now after 20 minutes of cooking, I'm going to take the lid off and this is what it looks like. It's definitely sticky so I was just going to take a wooden spoon and just kind of, you know, move it around and just making sure that all the water is cooked out but it is definitely done. So now real quickly, I'm going to make a little vinegar sauce to pour over the rice. So in a small bowl, I'm going to add five tablespoons of rice vinegar. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of sea salt. and two tablespoons of sugar. Now you can either heat this up in a saucepan, but I think it's just as easier if you just put it in the microwave and just heat it up for 30 seconds. Now while the sauce is heating up, I'm just gonna transfer the rice into a plastic bowl. And now I'm just ready to pour over that vinegar sauce and I used the wooden spoon from my sushi kit and I'm just going to mix it all together just making sure that the sauce um, completely covers all the rice. So I'm not going to put it in the refrigerator and I'm going to leave it uncovered and I want my rice to cool down completely. So this is the sushi rolling mat, the bamboo rolling mat and out of all the videos that I've seen, you know, people making sushi, I've noticed that they you know, wrap the mat with some plastic because the rice is so sticky. I guess it's just to protect the um, mat 
from um, the sticky rice. So yeah, that's what I'm doing just to prep it up. So now I'm ready to cut into my avocado. I didn't want to do it earlier while I was prepping up my vegetables because I didn't want it to turn brown. But that's what I'm doing. I'm just slicing up my avocado and now I'm ready to start making some California rolls. Now you can use a full nori sheet, but I decided to go ahead and cut mine in half and I put the rough side up first. So I'm just going to grab a handful of rice and I did wet my hands because this rice really is sticky. So when you wet your hands, it just makes it a lot easier to work with. So yeah, I'm just going to continue to apply the rice because, because I just want to make sure that the sheet is completely covered. And off camera, I toasted the sesame seeds and I'm just going to sprinkle them on top of the rice. Now because I wanted the rice to be on the outside of the sushi roll or the California roll, I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to place it at the very edge of the bamboo rolling mat. So the first thing I'm going to add is the imitation crab and I just grabbed two slices and I'm just going to put those near the center. And next I'm just going to grab two slices of English cucumber and I'm going to place that right beside the crab. And now I'm ready to add in the avocado and notice that I put it at the very top because when you roll it, it will not squeeze out or score it out at the bottom. So right now I'm just going to use my fingers just to make sure that nothing comes out and I'm just going to slowly roll. And I'm going to just press down slightly just so nothing comes out and you just want to continue to roll, continue to press down slightly until you form a nice tight sushi roll. And there you have it. There is my first and complete California roll. I think I did pretty good for my first try. So I just grabbed a knife and I did wet it because the rice is sticky and I'm just going to be cutting some slices. So I had to admit, I was pretty nervous when I started making these rolls because I thought it was going to be really hard, but it was actually easier than I thought. So if I can make them, you guys can definitely try this recipe out. You know, years ago when I went to Japan, what I really noticed is how they presented their food. They really take a lot of pride in presenting something that is so beautiful. It almost looks like a work of art, but even though it's okay, this is my first time, but I think the more I do it, the better I'll get. I think I did pretty good though. But that is it, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share this video with everybody you know, especially if they love California rolls. Follow me, tag me on Instagram, take a picture. I would love to see it. And if you give this recipe a try, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel by clicking that box you see right there and if you want to see another video go ahead and click that box you see right there until then thank you so much for watching I love and appreciate you all and I will see you very soon in my next video bye bye